Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to weekly Korean life class. My name is Kaijin. 안녕하세요, Kaijin입니다. And 안녕하세요, Chimchi입니다. Yay! Thank you so much for joining today's class too. Today we are going to talk about December in Korea. Yes, I said it's 30 minutes lesson, but today we prepared a lot of slides. So honestly, <laughs> I'm not sure if I can finish in 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, 30분, 30분 안에 끝낼 수 있을지 모르겠는데, I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> okay, so, 안녕하세요, uh, God Emperor Chris, Acid Great, Koati Sumi, and also on Facebook too. 안녕하세요. So, Today we have done another deal here. By the by the way, <laughs> by the way, last time we had a Black Friday deal and that was applied for many different subscription, but this one is more special. So check it out, check it out. So this one, this one is 55% off for 24 hours. 24 not 24, 24 month premium or premium plus subscription. So for Black Friday it was applied for all subscription. But if you want to, if you want to subscribe to one or two year subscription, then you can get lots of discount this time, lots of discount. So it's up to you. And last week I also saw the comment, if, if uh, it's possible to pay by month and that is possible. Of course, <laughs> if you are interested in our monthly subscription, yes, you can get it. But unfortunately, this 55% deal is only applied for premium or premium, uh, premium plus subscription for one, two year month. So check it out. <laughs> yeah, the deal is too big. So unfortunately, we couldn't give it to like all like w one month uh, subscription, like three month subscription. Sorry, but yes, check it out. <laughs> it's a big deal. Okay. Okay. So let's start today's lesson quickly today because as I just mentioned, I prepared who a lot. A lot of content. A lot. I have so many things to talk about today. So, 안녕하세요, Francois and Sam and Suzette, uh, Dioni, Li, Dionis, Lisa, Jay. 안녕하세요, 안녕하세요, and Shimran and Starlust, uh, Flea, Pratisha, Emily, Nikki, Cloudum. Awesome. So, let me share the. Let me share the. Ta -da! <laughs> so special, right? <laughs> okay. So first, let's talk about December in Korea. Do you know how to say December in Korean? December. It's very simple. It's very simple. If you've been following my lesson every month, you probably know how to say December in Korean because I've been talking about it, talking about it every month. Jajan, yes, December is 12월 because December is the 12th. 12th is the first, second is 12th month in Korean. And 12 in Korean is 12. 12. 12 is 12 and 월 means month. So 12 month in Korean is December. 12th month. 12th month. <laughs> okay, so 오늘은 12월에 대해서 얘기해 봐요. So let's talk about 12 months. 12 months. <laughs> December in Korea. There are so many things to talk about. So as I just mentioned, if you're interested in this deal for 24 month premium and premium subscription, check it out. It's ending very soon. Ending very soon. It's a good deal, isn't it? <laughs> Starlos, you just decided to come here for fun. Yay, let's have a lot of fun now. Okay, yes, very good. 12월, yes, very good. Kailon, 안녕하세요. <laughs> okay, 먼저 날씨를 볼게요. Let's look at the weather in Korea. What's the weather like? Ooh, what do you think? Is it cold? 
if you're from the cold country like Canada, Norway, <laughs> Russia, then you probably think, oh, this is so warm. warm. But it's cold for many people I know. <laughs> if you're from India and Philippines, Malaysia, yes, the tropical countries, it's very cold, right? Look at this. Four degree is the highest temperature in Seoul, the capital of Korea. So, Seoul의 최고 기온은 4도예요. Seoul의 최고 기도 최고 기온은 4도예요. It's pretty cold, right? And also the lowest temperature is minus five. 영하 5도예요. And I called uh, my mom yesterday, and my mom said, "Oh, right now." Oh, she's living around here, around, around here. And she said, oh, this is like minus six today. So, yes, it's cold. It's very cold. Already, already. And Daejeon is here. And it's, of course, it's southern. It's, uh, it's southern part. So, it's warmer than Seoul. 서울보다는 조금, 조금, 조금 따뜻해요. <laughs> so, it's a little bit warmer than Seoul. Look at Busan, the second biggest city in Korea. Busan is near the sea, near the ocean. 바다에서 가까워요. 그래서 조금 더 따뜻해요. So it's closer to the sea, ocean. So it's a bit warmer. But it's still cold, right? <laughs> and Jeon jong oh, you're from Sri Lanka. Welcome. And, uh, GJ, yes. Here, we have someone from Canada. So for you, it's too warm, isn't it? Well, I was in Vancouver before. And of course, Vancouver is much warmer than this because it's cool to see. But if you are from cold area, it's cold. <laughs> Kim Hana, exactly. 매우 추워요. And Kajin, right, it's dry and cold. <laughs> and Lisa from Philippines, 안녕하세요. <laughs> and Jeju. Jeju Island, which uh, which located in the southern South Korea, da, 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 biggest island in South Korea. Look at this; it's so warm. Ten degrees, 십도. 최고 기온은 십도예요. 최저 기온은 lowest temperature. 최저 기온은 사도예요. 사도. Okay. So, if you want to visit Seoul in uh, December, you must prepare coat, coat, warm coat, 따뜻한 coat를 준비하세요. Prepare warm coat. <laughs> Brenda, go Korea, let's be part of our fighting. <laughs> yes, you guys love 축구, 축구, soccer, World Cup. <laughs> okay, so 한국은 12월에 추워요. 추워요. 한국은 12월에 추워요. It's cold in Korea in December. 추워요. It's cold. Be careful. Uh, GJ, um, minus 19 degrees in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. See? So for you, it's probably so warm. <laughs> and meter, my poor Korean boyfriend in the military had to sleep outside in a tent. Yes, that's uh, destiny for poor Korean men and I truly appreciate their <laughs> dedication to protect the country yes <laughs> and also Korea is cold so our ancestors developed this Korean floor heating system that's why even if it's very cold we could survive and this floor heating system is very special and we call it ondol ondol on literally means warm. It's warm. Dol means stone. <laughs> so on dol means it's a warm stone. Why is it warm stone? So do you see this? This is a basically the system. Korean floor, he, uh, floor heating system. And done. basically this is a kitchen. Kitchen. You cook. And when you cook, you use fire, right? 불을 사용해요. You use fire. 불을 사용해요. And... When you use fire, there's a smoke. There's a heat, right? The warm, warm heat <laughs> from the fire. And instead of the fire, uh, the heat 
uh, instead of letting the heat go away, you let the heat go this way, under the floor, under the floor, like this. And from this system, you can hit this pool, tool, tool, stones. So that's why Korean houses are traditionally very warm even in the winter. 추운 날씨에도 따뜻해요. So even if it's very cold, it's very warm. I would say it's hot instead of warm because it's very hot. Especially this area. This area is close to this fire, so it's very hot. 엄청 뜨거워요. 그런데 여기는 조금 추워요. <laughs> But it's far from the heat, so it's a little bit cold. So, ondol, this is a traditional Korean uh, floor heating system. Ondol, ondol. And nowadays, we don't use this system, of course. We have advanced technology. So, we don't use this fire from the kitchen, but still, we have this floor heating system. So, all the Korean houses are very warm, even, even in the winter. We use this floor heating system. So all the Korean houses has warm flooring system. <laughs> and 온돌, 온돌. Oh, Star Loss is very warm here in the winter where I live. That's lucky for you. <laughs> okay, so done next. As Cajun just said, it's dry. It's dry in Korean. It's 건조해요. That's right. In Korea, it's very dry. So if you go to Korea in December, what you need is moisture cream for your skin. <laughs> Make sure to prepare for it. Or in Korea, we have lots of good moisture cream with a uh, reasonable price. So you can buy one in Korea too. And Korean cosmetics and uh, skincare products are getting more and more popular in other countries. So maybe you can try that too. Anyway, remember, it's dry, but usually it's very sunny. So a lot of people uh, think just by looking at the photo, oh, Korea is very warm in December, but actually it's dry and cold. So be prepared. 건조해요. And also it's the um, same for many countries, but 해가 늦게 떠요. 해가 늦게 떠요. 해 means sun, sun, and 가 is a subject marking particle. So 해 is a subject of the sentence, like the sun in English. 늦게 is an adverb meaning late, late, 늦게, late. 떠요 means to rise. So the sun rises late. 해가 늦게 떠요. 해가 늦게 떠요. Oh, meter, which heated floors were more common in the USA? Yeah, when I go to other countries, the, the thing that I miss the most is the heated floor. <laughs> so I always prepare the electronic uh, carpet or electronic blanket. Otherwise, as a Korean, as a native Korean who grew up in Korea, I cannot survive in the winter. I always need it. And Chan, the opposite, opposite of this is 해가 빨리 져요. <laughs> 해가, now you know the meaning, right? 빨리 meaning early, early. 해가 빨리. 져요, 져요 means it uh, goes down, goes down. So the sun goes down early or sunset early. 해가 빨리 져요. 해가 빨리 져요. Yeah. So in Korea, around 5 p.m. is dark. Around 5 p.m. is dark in the winter. So I feel like the day is short. <laughs> it's, I feel like the day is not 24 hours. It's like, I don't know, <laughs> like 12 hours or something. And the sun rises around 7 a.m. 7 a.m. So the day is so short, isn't it? Hega. 빨리 means early or fast or quickly. 저요? Set. Okay. So that's what the weather is like in Korea in December. Now let's talk about 공휴일. 공휴일 public holidays and event. 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 Jajan. The first thing is winter solstice. Solstice. 
<웃음> 동지 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 is December 21st 동지 I put kimchi here <웃음> somehow <웃음> is 동지 동지 because around this season we make lots of kimchi actually from uh, the end of November until the December we make kimchi <웃음> And we make lots of kimchi and store it in kimchi nengjanggo. Kimchi nengjanggo. Kimchi nengjanggo means kimchi refrigerator. Ki- refri- refrigerator for kimchi. Storing kimchi. And we eat it for a year. What's the difference between pali? Pali means early or, or quickly or fast. Fast. 동지, 동지, winter suits. So, anyway, this is a kimchi season. My mom is also making kimchi. I think, yeah, my mom will make kimchi very soon. 동지, December 31st. 12월, 10, 12월 21일은 동지예요. 동지예요. <laughs> And, of course, we have Christmas. Christmas in Korean is 크리스마스. Christmas. Yes, we use this English word directly. Christmas. Or actually, we have the Jan Korean word too. Is 성탄절. 성탄절. So you can use this word if you want. But honestly, I think these days, Christmas is more common. Christmas is more common. So, Why do we celebrate Christmas in Korea? Mm, so do Korean people uh, are uh, our Korean people are Catholic or Christian? Something like that? Actually, no. <laughs> It's not a religious holiday in Korea. Christmas is like a Valentine's Day. It's a romantic holiday. So it's mostly for couples. Couples. <laughs> Do you have boyfriend or girlfriend? Then you will have a special day on this day. So make sure to uh, make a reservation for a restaurant or movie or other things. Everything in advance. Because on if you want to make a reservation like around Christmas Day, basically you cannot enter. It's already fully booked. Fully booked. So make sure to make a reservation early. Early. And what happens if I don't have boyfriend or girlfriend? Aha! Then you spend time with your family. <laughs> And what do Korean people eat on Christmas Day commonly? We commonly eat cake. <laughs> Christmas cake. So in 빵집 or 제과점 So it's bakery. <laughs> When you go to bakery, you will see a lot of uh, cake. Cake. So this is cake. Cake. And this is bakery. This is Christmas. <laughs> so some uh, Korean vocabulary related to Christmas. Yes. <laughs> So yes, around this uh, this time you will see yeah a lot of cake, cake, and yeah if you like cake, maybe it's a good time to have cake with your family or your friends or mm, your boyfriend or girlfriend. Yes, cake is something that we eat commonly <laughs> on Christmas. There are lots of Christmas decorations too. <laughs> Do you give gifts too? Yes, we give. 선물, 선물 give, oops, gift or present. So we give 선물, 선물 to uh, kids. <laughs> If you are parents, make sure to prepare 선물 for your kids. 선물, 선물. And of course, if you're a boyfriend or girlfriend, we exchange a Christmas gift too. <laughs> 선물, 선물. And do Korean people uh, believe in 
Santa Claus, yes, of course, for kids, yes, yes, Santa Claus. <laughs> okay, Zan, and also the reason why December is so special is we have 겨울 방학. 겨울 방학. 겨울 means winter, and 방학 means vacation. By the way, if you are working for a company and we are t you are taking winter vacation, can you say that's winter vacation? I'm sorry, but no. This 방학 is vacation from school only. School only. <laughs> so this is only for students, for 초등학생, elementary school students. 중학생, 초등학생, elementary school students. 중학생, middle school students. 고등학생, high school students, or oh, even 대학생 too. 대학생, university or college students. 대학생, so only for students. Students. And also an in interesting thing. I know in Europe, uh, you don't go to work, you don't go to the school at the end of the year and even early uh, January too, right? For, especially for workers. But in Korea, we don't have that kind of culture. We work even on December 31st too, because it's a normal day, it's not a holiday. But we don't work on January 1st, it's a holiday. But on January 2nd, of course we work. <laughs> so yeah, if you, are, um, if you are in Korea and you might be surprised that we don't do anything on December 31st. Of course, we have a small party with a family where we have a party, but basically it's not a public holiday. <laughs> okay. Next, 송년회. Yes, December is a month for year and parties in Korea. So 송년회 is the name of the party and you have 송년회 with your different friends like, uh, your best besties or your colleagues. So we do a lot of 송년회 with different people. So you're, you must be so busy in Korea <laughs> for this party and drinks, stuff like that. <laughs> do you celebrate New Year fireworks? Uh, GJ, of course we do because it's a special day. It's, uh, the day is changing. So yes. And in December, you will also see lots of 자선 냄비, 자선 냄비, 자선 means charity, 냄비 means pot, so for donation, to help the poor, so 자선 냄비. And Brenda, what food Koreans usually serve during Christmas day? In Japan, they have KFC, and yes, as I mentioned, we cake, cake, it's so our common Christmas food, cake, and Gabriella, hello, hello, hello. And also, if you are an employee in Korea, you must be very busy. Employee or if you, are, if you work basically in Korea because of year and tax settlement. 연말 정산. 연말 정산. So basically, 연말, year and 정산, tax settlement. So you can get some tax refund. So for that, you have to uh, submit some document. So, 연말 정산, 연말 정산. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jinja, you were in South Korea in October. She was. I hope you had a great time there. Emily, we have 자선 냄비 in the US too. That's right. Actually, that culture is from the US as far as I know. <laughs> okay. Oh, Star Loss, I usually type random words in Korean. Well, still, it's better than not typing anything. <laughs> Uh, quality. Too many holidays make people lazy. That's true. But in Korea, there are not so many holidays in December, so that makes people still busy. I don't know if it's a good thing or not. <laughs> and people tend to eat a lot. True. Because of the year-end party in Korea. <laughs> Nikhil, exactly. And by the way, if you just joined now, don't forget to get 55% off on 24 month premium or premium plus subscription. With premium subscription, you can get thousands of Korean lessons with premium uh, study tools 
And if you subscribe to Premium Plus subscription, then you can communicate with Korean teachers directly through my teacher messenger app anytime. <laughs> so your teacher will be your best friend. <laughs> 점점 아 라면 먹고 싶어요. 저도요. 배고파요. I'm hungry. <laughs> so let's talk about festivals. 축제 now. 축제 festivals. Mm. If you are in Korea, why don't you try 해운대 비축제? 해운대 비축제. 해운대 is the name of the beach in Korea. It's located in Busan, uh, second biggest city in Korea. And I show you Busan. Where is Busan? I think 20 minutes ago, right? Or 15 minutes ago. <laughs> and 빛 means light. 축제 means festival. So you can see various light sculptures there. So I recommend you to go there at night time, of course. <laughs> Because if you go when it's bright, you cannot see it very well. But at night, it will be so beautiful. So 해운대 비축제 in Busan. Or are you in Seoul? Then you can also see 제야의종 타종 행사. 제야의종 타종 행사. By the way, this 의 is kind of like of or s. s. It's a possessive particle in Korea. And theoretically, the pronunciation is supposed to be 의, 의. But very often, uh, after some words, we pronounce it like 에, 에, 에. So it's not 제야의종 타종 행사. But native Korean people like me pronounce it like 제야 에 종, 타종 행사. Remember, if 의, 의 is only used as a possessive, possessive particle and it's after the word, then you can pronounce it like 에. But if it's at the beginning of the word, such as like 의사, 의사 means a doctor, it's never 에사, 에사. It's always 의사, 의사. Only when it's used as a possessive particle and used after noun, then it's pronounced it as 제야에 some pronunciation tip 제야에종 타종 행사 제야에종 is new year's bell new year's bell 종 means bell 타종 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 means ringing bell 타 means hitting hit 빵 빵 <laughs> and 종 종 means bell 행사 means ceremony so it's new year's bell ringing ceremony so basically this This is a very popular, very popular uh, traditional, I would say it's a traditional event in Korea. And on December 31st, uh, and between December 31st and uh, January 1st, people gather together in Boshinga. It's in Seoul, in Jongno area. It's Boshinga. And people uh, gather there and then they watch the bell. They watch this bell and then some monks. Ring the bell. Doom. 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 So it's very traditional. And it's very crowded. So a lot of people watch this ceremony on TV. TV is all by all. So a lot of people watch on TV because not everyone is living in Seoul. And also, it's crowded and it's cold. <laughs> and also, 2022, can you see this? Metaverse Seoul. 제야의종 페스티벌 Yes, you can see online. You can join it as avatar there. <laughs> Metaverse. So yeah, if you want to participate in it, check it out. Will you ring the bell this year? No, I never ring the bell because usually some special person, <laughs> usually famous monk or A uh, very special person do that. At, I'm a normal person. <laughs> Aquati, that's right. They don't hit the original bell because original bell is is very uh, historical and special. So we want to protect it. <laughs> so we use another bell. But anyway, it's still in Boshingak. <laughs> Boshingak. Nikki, I love to attend Korean traditional festival. Check out the. Metaverse, <laughs> this online, online uh, New Year bell ringing ceremony. Then, <laughs> yes, police has to be more prepared for crowd. Yes. 
Okay, so where can you visit in Korea in December? Where to visit? 가볼 만한 곳. By the way, 곳 means a place. And 볼 만한 means worth. 가 is from 가다, meaning to go. So it literally means uh, the places worth going. Worth going places. 가볼 만한 곳. Where to visit? <laughs> First, yay. Remember 해운대? 해운대, we just talked about the 해운대 beach for 해운대 비축제. Practice yes. 해운대 비축제 is located in 해운대. Do you like the sea? Korean people actually like the winter sea. Sea, winter sea, yes. <laughs> Korean people like seeing the ocean or sea in the winter. It has very specific atmosphere. It's like very calm. Oh, but be careful. It's very cold because of the wind. <laughs> it's very windy usually. So it's very cold, but the atmosphere is very special and good. And also it's not so crowded usually. So it's a good time to see the beach. See, 해운대, 해운대 is located in the beach. Another thing is, Jeju Island is Jeju-do. Yeah. <laughs> I also talk about the biggest island in Korea, right? It's Jeju-do. It's the southern part of South Korea. So compared to other cities in Korea, it's warm. Jeju-do. It's, by the way, I'm saying relatively warm. It's not so warm. It's still cold, but it's relatively warm. <laughs> so you see the sea. The color of the sea is very beautiful in Jeju-do. Jeju-do. Nikkyo, that's right. The uh, winter sea gives a, re um, a peace of mind. I agree. <laughs> Jan, next is Daegwalyeong. Daegwalyeong is located in the east side of South Korea. And it's, Daegwalyeong is located in the high mountain. Basically, it's very cold, so you have to be prepared for the coldness, the cold weather, cold temperature. <laughs> 대관령, 대관령. But if you want to see a lot of snow, this is a place. There is always snow <laughs> in December, in the winter. So it's a good place to see a beautiful scenery, white scenery. Everything is white, covered with snow. Dun. By the way, snow is dun. It's very beautiful. <laughs> yes, so it's a well-known place for well-known place for heavy snow every winter. So be careful <laughs> with be prepared with your warm coat, warm coat. <laughs> 대관령. And I know a lot of viewers, um, a lot of my viewers for this this video <laughs> are from tropical countries like many uh, Southeast Asian countries and there you cannot see the snow right and you want to see the really white world white world white winter then try this but you I know you are not really familiar with the cold weather so please 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 be prepared it's colder than you think <laughs> and if you're from Canada oh I would say this is nothing for you I think <laughs> it depends on the country too. Kwati, 우리 쌤도 특별한 사람이에요. You are special too. 감사합니다. But there are more special people <laughs> in Korea, and I'm no more person there, so I don't have a chance. I I would never get the opportunity to hit the a bell, and it's okay <laughs> because it's cold there. So I would rather stay in my chip chip house. <laughs> Let's talk about some activities you can do in December in Korea. What are what are some activities that you can do? Jajan is orum nakshi. Orum means ice. Nakshi, nakshi, fishing. So it literally means ice fishing. Orum nakshi. So I think I introduced this in January because I did. Uh, this monthly lesson, right? January in Korea, February in Korea, March in Korea, and now I'm doing December. And I introduced this in January to Orum Nakshi's popular activities. So you can enjoy ice fishing in many places in Korea. So you make a hole in, on the river or lake and you give 
up and you <laughs> do fishing there in the cold weather. Try <laughs> And uh, ice fish is the fish that gets caught the most. So it's ice fish. If you are interested in, check it out. And Cajun, we need Canada goose. Yes, it actually we really need it, but it's expensive in Korea. <laughs> Next, you can try dunsolme. Dunsolme. Dun means snow, and solme means sled. Like this, you, we use this kind of plastic. And just like skiing, we go to the slope and we go down like this. It's super fun. I used to go there with my family often. I loved it. <laughs> and yeah, it's really fun. And of course, the skiing, skiing and snowboard, snowboard, ski, ski, snowboard, board, or Snowboard. Snowboard. Snowboard or snowboard. So it's basically, as you can guess, it's a snowboard. Snowboard. Snowboard and ski. These are popular too, but these are expensive. <laughs> Snow sled is cheaper. <laughs> so if you want something cheap and fun, <laughs> snow sled good. And you don't need many kind of equipment. But snowboard and ski, you need lots of equipment. Of course, you can borrow them, but they are expensive. Pisayo. <laughs> Next thing, another popular thing is Yagan Ski. Yagan Ski. GJ, 감사합니다. <laughs> and Jeon Jung, yes, I saw that. I already did the Korean drama related lessons. So check out my previous lesson. And of course, I'll give another lesson about. Korean dramas too in the future. <laughs> I focus on December in Korea for now. <laughs> Keiji, no ski? Oh, no, no, no. Here are ski for you. Yagan ski. Yagan means it's nighttime. Ski means skiing. So you can do Yagan ski in Korea. One of good things about Yagan ski is cheaper. <laughs> First, cheaper. Style. Second, there are fewer people. Of course, in daytime, there are more people. So it's crowded, but in nighttime, less people. <laughs> but the disadvantage is colder. <laughs> colder. And I think nice ski is still good. Like, it has really good atmosphere. It's like everything is dark. The It's dark. It's dark world, but you can only see the white snow. So it's special. So check it out. <laughs> Yagan ski. And how about food? Food in Korea. 음식, 음식은 어떨까요? <laughs> 음식은 어떨까요? <laughs> 전 저녁, you're welcome. We are welcome. <laughs> and the o Winter Olympic Park in Seoul is very nice to place to visit. Thank you for introducing that. People, can you did you hear that? <laughs> Quat is uh, the suggestion is very good too. The Winter Olympic Park in Seoul. <laughs> okay, 음식. So, do you like sashimi? Around December, December, yellowtail fish is popular. It's pango, pango, pango. It's a very popular. And Korean people love hue, hue sashimi. It's a, sashimi is a popular uh, Japanese dish, right? Raw fish. And hue, hue is a Korean term. It's hue. So, it looks like this. We we eat a lot of raw fish, and I personally, <laughs> I personally don't like it. <laughs> I personally don't like raw fish. <laughs> but Korean people love it, and it's very popular. Yes, big yellow fish, big yellow fish is in season in December, and uh, the fish is the best in, around this season. So if you like Korean, um, if you if you would like to try Korean. Hey, please try it. It'll be really nice. And usually when you order this kind of hey, uh, you can also get lots of side dishes. So it'll be nice <laughs> for sashimi lovers. But for me, it's like, okay. <laughs> Depends on the person. Everyone has different tastes, right? <laughs> 
style of turning into Korean drama is mildly in, uh, intimidating since I can feel other people so easily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how about this? Kumak bibimbap. Kumak bibimbap. Kumak is the name of this shellfish, cockle, cockle. And bibimbap is, well, bibim means mixed, pap means rice. So uh, mixed rice with this this shellfish cockle. So this food has become very popular these days and it's delicious. So please try it. Cockles taste very good when it's uh, when it's cold. So go mak go mak go mak. And you boil the cockles and season them with red pepper powder, red pepper powder, um, uh, gochugaru and soy sauce, ganjang and some very spicy red peppers and mix uh, them with rice. It's good. <laughs> and now we have 석화구이 is grilled oysters. So, 굴 석화구이. 굴 means oyster, by the way. 굴. 굴 means oyster. Oyster. <laughs> so basically, you grill the oysters and it tastes very good. And I was very surprised that the oysters are very, very expensive in Europe and other countries and they eat only one or two and it's so expensive but in Korea it's relatively cheap so usually we eat like I don't know like a lot like 10, 20, 30 at once and it's not surprising in Korea so if you go to Korea try oysters because it's cheap in Korea relatively cheap <laughs> so yeah it's good <laughs> And so sure we had a lot of slides, so I was quite busy. But do you have any questions about Korea in December? 질문 있어요? So if you have any question, please let me know. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I know, it's so cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, Thursday, hi ma'am, sorry for late, no problems. And people who just joined the live i always upload this live after the uh, after this lesson so check it out you can always watch it you can actually watch every december <laughs> you can search again <laughs> ah i see occasion that's also good one knife noodle is kalguksu it literally means knife noodles <laughs> So why is it so scary? So do Korean people eat knife in winter? No, 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 no. Basically, it's a noodle. Kuksu means noodle, but it's chopped by chopped with knife. <laughs> That's why it's kalguksu. Kalguksu. Uh, this is a popular Korean noodles, and it's good, especially in the winter because it's cold. 추워요. 그래서 따뜻한 국물이 맛있어요. So we, Warm hot soups are good, right? 따뜻한 국물이 특히 맛있게 느껴져요. <laughs> 칼국수. <laughs> uh, Sumi, I'm learning your previous lessons. Yes, we have the playlist on YouTube. Or if you go to koreanclass101.com slash live, you can find my previous lesson. There you can find a PDF that I prepared so you can find my previous lesson here or YouTube playlist or on Facebook too. Mm -hmm. Check it out if you want to watch the previous lessons. But I re recommend koreanclass101.com slash live because there you can download lots of PDF. Actually, you can download these slides too. These slides too. It's useful. <laughs> uh, Starless, I thought it was knife out of noodle. Maybe edible noodle <laughs> yes um yeah it's a noodle cut by knife <laughs> handmade noodles handmade noodles tuck, 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 tuck. <laughs> okay so if you have any question please let me know in the comment um and that will be a great reference for me to make a new new class for next year too <gasps> Jeffrey, 감사합니다 for your donation. I hope you're doing well. And I'm glad that you enjoyed and you liked this lesson. Cool, 감사합니다. Awesome. 
and Jan, happy holidays, everyone. 즐거운 연말 연시 보내세요. So happy holidays. In December, this phrase will be so useful. So make a note of it. <laughs> make a note of it and use it. 즐거운 means 즐거운 means joyful, happy, or merry. 연말 means end of the year, and 연시 means beginning of the year. So 연말 연시 means basically in in other countries, the holidays, holidays. But in Korea, it's like it's not holidays. It's not public holidays. It's just end of the year and beginning of the year. End and beginning of the year. 연말 연시. As you can see, you see 연, right? 연 means year. 말 means end. 연 year. 시, uh, beginning. So beginning of the uh, year and year beginning. <laughs> Literally in Korea. 보내세요 means please spend. So please spend happy year and year beginning of the year. <laughs> so happy holidays, everyone. And 짠! As Nikia said, here's a homework for you. So I would love to hear about you. Because now I introduce about me and Korea. How about in your country? What do you often eat in December? Let me know. <laughs> 12월에 자주 먹는 음식이 뭐예요? 12월. 12월 means December. 에, time mark and particle, like in, in English. So in December is 12월에. 자주 means often. It's an ad adverb. 자주. 먹는 음식. 음식 means food. And 먹는 means you eat. So food you eat. 뭐 means what. 예요 means it is, uh, is, is kind of like to be. So it literally means what is the food that you often eat in December? What do you often eat in December? What's the food that you often eat in December? So let me know in the comment or on comment on YouTube or our Facebook. Mm -hmm. Well, if you personally want me to check. Ta -ta 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 -ta. So yes, this is my done. <laughs> this is my Instagram. So if you take my Instagram uh, ID on your Instagram story or Instagram post, I'll answer you. I'll answer you. <laughs> if you don't take me, I cannot see your message. And I also don't use other uh, social media like Facebook or Twitter stuff. So tag me on Instagram. <laughs> okay. And Nikhil, the class was very fun, teacher. I'm so happy. 감사합니다. <laughs> And seriously, thank you for teaching us by... Oh, thank you so much for learning with me too. Kajin, it was fun. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. Oh, hell. Uh, oh, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. I think you are used, uh, you're saying the other language, right? <laughs> okay, so before leaving, yes, this is... Uh, this is a deal that we are now doing campaign. So check it out. It's fifty five percent for one or two years uh, premium and premium subscription. Mm -hmm. Check it out. <laughs> and next week, of course, I'll be back on the Thursday. Yes, Mogyoil, <laughs> Mogyoil Thursday. And as you love my grammar lessons. I'm trying to do more and more grammar lessons. So please join it. That will be December 8th. 12월 8일, 목요일, 1시, 1 p.m. in Korean time. Next week, I'm going to talk about 의세요 grammar. So it's like, please do something. For example, 안녕하세요. <laughs> 안녕하세요 is actually using the same conjugation. <laughs> same conjugation. So please join it again. 1 p.m. in Korean time next Thursday. Brittany, Gumbo. <laughs> 안녕하세요. So, 감사합니다. So, let's, let's learn, let's talk about, let's study the Korean grammar next week. So, 감사합니다. And I'll see you next week. Bye bye. 안녕, 안녕. Emily, 전전영, and Trey Bon, JD, GJ. Practisha, Sumi, <laughs> Starlust, Emily, Nikhil, <laughs> and Jeffrey. 감사합니다, 감사합니다. <laughs> so, thank you. Oh, 
just pre I don't love grammar. <laughs> but grammar is still important. I'll try to make it fun. I'll do my best. So please join it again. Uh, Philistas, 감사합니다. 다음 주에 봐요. 안녕, 안녕. 안녕히 가세요. 다음 주에 봐요. 침침 off.